Hello everyone. I have to admit, I made a mistake. <laughs> In the last video, when we went through all our electronics, I was um, just trying, I was experimenting with it some, and I found a major error that I had made in our schematic. Now, I guess this is just part of the learning experience. We're all learning at doing this. This is new to me and possibly new to you. So, let's get this corrected. All right, this whole section here with our transistor. We're gonna go this whole section right here. That needs moved down to here for this ground connection. So, in other words, what we have here is we still have our 12 volts running directly into our relay. Get a marker that works. Our 12 volts still runs directly into our relay. So we're doing away with this connection, doing away with this connection. 12 volts. Now, our ground down here, we're going to do away with that. So, we're cutting our connection here, and then we are connecting our 12 volts to there. So our 12 volts comes from our power supply, goes into the relay, and also into the top side of the coil of the relay. Now, our collector of our transistor, that will connect to the other side of our coil. So let's get a marker here that works. All right, here we go. So our coming out of our relay here, instead of going to ground, that is going to go into here. So our relay connects to here. And then this side here, when we come out of it, we're actually going to ground. I hope that made sense. Um, I will redraw this schematic. All the parts and everything are the same, but I'll redraw this schematic and I will post that up with this video. Um, if you've tried this and was not able to get it to work, this is your problem. And I am sorry about this, just part of learning, I guess. So I'll get a redrawn schematic put up and you can go off of that and everything will work great. As you can see, I have it hooked up here. I do not have my Arduino powered up. Throw some power to the Arduino. Here we go. Turn a potentiometer up, watch our LED. And that's turning our relay on and off along with sending signal to our speed control. All right, well, um, sorry about the inconvenience, sorry about the mistake, but I have found it and we can get it corrected. All right, well, until next time, thanks for watching and see you later. All right, here's the new schematic that I had to fix. And I'll go over real quick, a quick little explanation here. Have 12 volt. This connects to both sides of our relay. Our coil, and then our switch side of the relay, our contacts. And it also connects to our diode. And that diode was a 1N4007. Now, we have power coming in, going through our coil. But it cannot go anywhere until the Arduino uh, connected to pin 12 going through a 1K resistor. Our 12 volts cannot go through that until the Arduino turns this on. When that turns on, it will go the 12 volt through the relay, through the transistor, to ground, energizing the relay, turning the contacts together. So that then lets 12 volt goes through the relay through our field coil and then out of the field coil to ground and also our 12 volts is going through our 1.8k resistor through our LED and then to ground 
A quick little question I had is somebody did not understand what I meant by ground. Ground is the negative side of our power. So like a battery, you have a positive side and you have a negative side or a ground. In other words, as it's known. So all these grounds, the Arduino, the transistor, the field coil, our negative side of our potentiometer and the black wire of our ESC all of them has to be tied together into one connection somehow or another that way they all are grounded together so hopefully that is everything explained and once again until next time thanks for watching and sorry about the little mistake I'll post a picture of this schematic here at the end of the video for you to look at. And thanks again. See ya.